Are we about to see another Star Trek legend return? If we are, oh boy. Hey there Trekkies, my name is Michael aka The Trek Lad and I hope you're doing well. And this is a rumour that has been floating around the Trek sphere for, for quite a while uh, and has recently kind of picked up some traction with a number of websites who, websites that I don't quite trust, but no smoke without fire, right? Right, if multiple websites are reporting on it, it might be worth having a look at. Anyway, a few of these websites have been talking about the potential return of Scott Bakula, aka the legend that is Captain Jonathan Archer from the greatest Star Trek TV series, Enterprise. Yeah, you heard that right. Anyway, <laughs> Scott Bakula is rumoured to be returning for a role in the Star Trek universe. Initially, I wasn't sure what role that would be. I had my theories speculating as to what it could be. Could it be Discovery? Could it be some flashback in Picard? Could it be a comedic cameo in Lower Decks? The last one probably makes m the more sense, given how far Discovery is in the future and now, and, and given the fact that Picard would never really have any crossover with Archer. Although, the final episode of Enterprise, the infamous final episode of Enterprise being the TNG crossover that nobody in the universe wanted. But no, the speculation appears to be that Scott Bakula could be about to make his return in the upcoming Star Trek Strange New Worlds, and that makes a lot of sense. So as the article states, it's been a long road. A new rumour is flying around at Warp 5 that the very first captain of the starship called Enterprise will be returning to the Trek canon in some way, shape or form. Take this rumour with a pinch of dilithium. I like that. Star Trek rumours should be taken with a pinch of dilithium. But according to two outlets, actor Scott Bakula, the stud muffin, that is Scott Bakula, is in talks to reprise his role as Captain Archer in a new Star Trek TV project. This rumour comes as Strange New Worlds seemingly starts filming in Toronto, as according to Ethan Peck's Instagram. This... This makes sense. Now, one of the things that I was going to do, I was going to make a video talking about how, how Archer could come back and, and what the scenario would look like. And this... Ties, this this neatly matches that theory, that feeling that I had. Now, Star Trek has a long, not long, a, a good history, a healthy history of having some sort of handover, handing the baton to another show. So we saw that with TNG's encounter at Farpoint, with DeForest Kelly, the legend that is DeForest Kelly, having the scene with, with Data midway through the pilot, which was a beautiful scene and a real lovely uh, transition from one show to another. I still absolutely love that scene, and I'm sure you do too. From there, Deep Space Nine. I mean, Deep Space Nine and TNG was interesting with we had the crossover episode, we had Birthright, where Data and Bashir had a crossover. But in Deep Space Nine, we had Jean-Luc Picard and Cisco's encounters that bookended that show. Kind of logical handover there. Not really the handover, but some sort of acknowledgement that they're in the same universe. I like that. And we, we saw that as well in Voyager with the first episode. We saw Quark uh, and... Kim and Paris on the promenade, so we had that as well. With Enterprise, because of its prequel setting being uh, about 110 or so years after Zephram Cochran, we had that lovely scene in Broken Bow where James Cromwell came back in the pre-recorded segment, the, you know, going boldly to uh, explore strange new worlds. He came up with it. This leads us on to... Strange New Worlds, and given the fact that Strange New Worlds is going to be... I mean, we've already had Discovery be the, the prequel before the original series. We didn't really have any hand batons or crossovers there, which is fine. We, we've had references on the screen, but we've never had an official handover. Um, and I think that we're going to get that here. I think what we're going to get is we're going to... I think there might be some revisionist history. I'm not sure how well that will go down. But I think that we're going to see the... 
the maiden voyage of the NCC-1701. I don't think we're going to have Robert April. I think that we're going to discard with that. And I think that we're going to have Pike as the first captain of the Enterprise. And I think that we're going to have a flashback. I think that we're either going to have a very old, uh, heavy heavy makeup Scott Bakula as the cranky, you know, what the fuck did Scotty do with my beagle um, archer? Or... We're going to have, a, again, a pre-recorded appearance from the actor. Again, probably in some heavy makeup. Or, I mean, Scott Bakula, he's aged gracefully. However they play it, I think that we're going to get some sort of flashback. We're going to have Archer. He's either going to be doing a Zephyrin Cochran appearing on the screen. Or we're going to have Archer walking around the corridors of the Enterprise. And it's the latter that I would like to see. But anyway, let's let's see what inverse make of the rest of, of this theory. Uh, if Captain Archer did return, the best bet seems to be Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Yeah, the show that is both... Yeah, yeah, explanation. Wild speculation ahead. So, in this article, and I'll link this article in the description if you want to go and waste a couple of minutes. Prize timeline ends pretty clearly in the year 2161. Uh, Discovery Season 1 starts a full century later, 2256... Uh, is a lot, is Archer alive in the 23rd century of Strange New World era? Yeah, he'd be 146 years old. It's not unheard of. I think DeForest Kelly's McCoy was around that age in Encounter at Farpoint, although that was a full century after the events that we're seeing here. Um, so it'd be it'd be interesting to see what they do. A again, I I'm torn because I'd like to see the show. I'd like to see Star Trek kind of. I don't think humans would live to 146 by the 2250s. Looking looking at how our species has progressed, given the fact that, you know, in the 1900s, <laughs> the average life expectancy for the working person was, like, 18. And, and then now, obviously, we've got, you know, the average age about 80, 85. I don't know. I mean, it's possible, given the fact that in this timeline, war, disease, hunger, poverty, all that kind of stuff has been eliminated. So, it, you know, it, it makes... It could happen, and it probably will. Going back to my original point, it, it would be great to see Archer walking around... The corridors of the new Enterprise. It will be a brief appearance, but it'll be lovely to see. Just for that continuity. Also for the fact that Archer was responsible for the establishment of the Federation. And all of the stuff that we love. So yeah, it would be lovely to see that. But again, if they decided to do a pre-recorded. Hello, I'm Archer. To get all of us fanboys super excited and happy. I'd be happy with that as well. But uh, do I think that we're going to get a Scott Bakula full-length, full... -length, full run Archer series. No. I, I we're just we're not gonna get it, are we? We're not gonna see that happen. It's unrealistic. I, Enterprise just didn't do that well, unfortunately. And uh I I think it would be quite a gamble for a full Scott Bakula Archer series. But this cameo in Strange New World is possible. I love the fact that they're talking about it. I love the fact that the rumor mill is in full swing. And if it turns out that this is uh, this is just that, a rumor, and uh, that dilithium is wasted and it doesn't actually happen, I'll be sad. It'll be a missed opportunity. But what we're seeing now is the Star Trek franchise start to accept its roots a little bit more. We saw that with Lower Decks and, and its plethora of references and the fact that it did bring up Enterprise as well. So we're seeing the the current iteration of the franchise except acknowledge Star Trek. I think this would be a huge tick in that let's keep the fanboys happy. Um, and, and who doesn't want to see Scott Bakula grace our screens again, you know, regardless of age? Again, he's a stud muffin. Bring him back. What do you think about bringing Scott Bakula and Captain Archer back to the Star Trek fold? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Because I am a lazy bugger and I'm going to talk about the news for a while. Uh, give me a subscribe and until the next time, live long and prosper.